Hey guys, welcome back. I have talked a lot about grief and how to cope with the loss of a loved one and I still have a lot to say about that. But I thought it would be interesting to expand the conversation to other spiritual topics. In today's video, I am going to give you an overview on karma and reincarnation because it's the foundation of my personal interpretation of life and it's the foundation of my faith and all the things I talk about on my channel. Reincarnation means we have past lives, so we come to Earth multiple times. And it makes me laugh when people are skeptical about it because whatever faith you are, you cannot expect yourself to do things right the first time. I can't even do a recipe right the first time. Having multiple lives means having more chances to mend broken relationships, heal the people we hurt, learn new lessons and help other souls grow and evolve. We come to Earth with a specific plan. We choose the main themes of our life, the main lessons we want to learn. And we choose our family, our friends, our partners, and we all play a part in each other's evolution. We come to Earth because our soul desires to grow and become wiser and brighter. My understanding is that the brighter our energy is, the closer to the light we are. And the closer to the light, the more love and peace we feel. The light is the source, or what some people call God, Buddha, Allah, depending on the religion. There is a major law that influences our lives, and it's called karma, which means you reap what you saw. To make it simple, I stole an apple in a past life and I got away with it, so in my next life I will probably find myself in a situation where I'll suffer the consequences of that action. Life has many challenges and it can be so hard, but it's not meant as a punishment. Unfortunately, the reality is that we learn certain lessons only by experiencing that pain, that illness, that betrayal. We need that lived experience to develop the awareness necessary to move forward in our personal evolution. There's no other way. Often we plan our next life with the people we have hurt the most. The more suffering, trauma, violence, the stronger the bond and the need to heal all of that. The concept of karma is perfectly intertwined with free will. For example, I have a strong karmic relationship with someone and we decide to meet again in this lifetime as an opportunity to heal the pain we have caused each other. In my life plan, the meeting is set. The day, the time, everything is planned in advance. The meeting will happen. But how I'm going to handle the relationship will be up to me. Will I take this opportunity to actually bring healing and love to this relationship and break the chain of suffering of the past or will I fall into the same old patterns? In this context, you see how this current life is just a short chapter of a much longer journey. This planet is a school and our death is graduation day. It means the project for this life is fulfilled and we are ready to move on to the next one. We are ready to go home because we don't belong here. We are here only to learn some lessons. The idea of reincarnation offers many precious lessons and the biggest one for me is forgiveness. Reincarnation teaches you to look at things from a different perspective beyond the ego and to realize that you may be dealing with a bad guy now when in a past life you were the bad guy. And this is just a script you co-wrote to find peace. Let me know if any of this resonates with you and I'll see you in my next video.